Hey guys, so today I'm going to be making Pusheen Donuts. And I got this recipe out of this Let's Bake Pusheen cookbook. I don't remember how long ago I got this, but the only other video I did like of a recipe in here was the Pusheen pizza. And that was like, I think a really long time ago because it was even at our old house. So I thought it'd be perfect to do one. And it's usually hard to kind of pick which one because as I flip through the book, there's like a lot of kind of complicated stuff, like this one I marked, it's like a roll cake. But I thought donuts would be pretty easy. It says level difficulty is easy to medium. And so yeah, I already have all my stuff prepped out. And baking the donuts themselves won't be too difficult. It's just actually decorating them to look like Pusheen. And I even have like a little reference thing over there as well. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. The first thing I'm going to do is in this bowl, I'm going to put my butter. Butter. There we go. My brown sugar. And my sugar. And in the book it does say super fine, but I don't think it will affect the donuts that much. Okay, now I'm going to cream these together. I'm just using my hand mixer. My next step is to add my one egg and then beat it together until it's like nice and fluffy. It says about five minutes, but we'll see how long it takes. Here is what my mix looks like right now. And it's not like super thick or like super fluffy right now, but the um, batter will end up being pretty thick so I think it'll be okay and next I'm going to add in my baking powder my salt and my vanilla and it says to just fold this in or not fold this in but kind of stir this in lightly Now I'm going to alternate between slowly adding in my flour and my milk. So first I'll do like a couple of spoonfuls of flour and then fold that in. And then I'll do the same with the milk. And yeah, I'll just keep going until my dough is nice and thick. Now I'm ready to fill my donut pan. And I'm using a piping bag just so it's a lot easier for me. So now I have them all filled um, and I'm going to bake them for 12 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So now my donuts are out of the oven and on my little cutting board here, I cut up one of the donuts to make little ears. And I already assembled these three. And it was kind of really difficult. I cut them up exactly how they did, but then it's like, they have them like nice and carved here, but the donut, you know, makes a lot of crumbs and I was scared that it would fall apart. And so they're a little bit bigger ears and not like as short and like pointy as these, but maybe it'll make it a little bit easier to do the face of the donut or the face of the pusheen. But yeah, so I'm gonna attach these ones and show you how I did it. Pretty much I just took, let me make sure this is melted because it kept drying every time. 
This is some of the melted chocolate I'm gonna use as well. But you can see here that like, yeah, the donut breaks apart pretty easily. So that's why I didn't wanna try and carve it that much. Oh gosh, it's already pulling apart. Okay, careful. And I'm just using the side of the cutting board to kinda keep it up, right? And I have my chocolate in a little separate thing just because dipping it in the chocolate will, was a lot easier. Now I'm just kind of adding some glue on the top, or some glue, some melted chocolate on the top. I'm gonna try and add some here so that can kind of stick together maybe because it was already falling apart a bit. But yeah, now I will let this dry. And then over here I have my big thing of chocolate. I have some more melting because I want to make sure that I have enough before I add my food coloring. And that's why I have this little thing so I can like color match as I'm adding some. So I'm going to add like a very, very little amount first. I'd rather have it be too light than too dark because then I have the eyes and stuff to add. So I want to make sure that it looks nice. Now I'm gonna add in like one drop of black. I think it's a drop, or, yeah. Oh, okay, oh, it's scary. Hopefully it shouldn't be too dark, I don't know. Okay, so far it's not looking too bad. I just have to kind of mix it together. Okay, there we go. I'm definitely not going to add more. So that looks good enough. I know Pusheen is like, it's more of like a brownish type of like gray, but I mean, this is going to be the closest I can get. My next step is to put in four little white chocolate chips. It doesn't matter if they're white ones because I'm going to cover it up. So I'm going to put them in like this and then I'll cover it with my chocolate. And I actually kind of decided where one of them wanted the chocolate chips by poking little holes because you still want them to stick out a little bit because, well, it's actually, it's a little pushing hands and feet. But yeah, I'm placing them face down this way because then when you cover it with the chocolate, it'll still kind of show up. and I'm gonna do the rest of these to make sure the little paws and feet or whatever stay I'm taking a little bit of the chocolate on a toothpick and that way make sure they don't fall off once I pour the chocolate on top Now I'm ready to start pouring on my chocolate. And so luckily with this thing I can like take it out, but I'm just gonna use like a spoon and scoop it on there. The way they did it is they like actually held it over the bowl and that way they said so the excess can go back into the bowl, but I should have more than enough, so I should be okay. I'm gonna start with one at a time. So I'm gonna start with this one because I have this chocolate and it's like pretty dry. I'm gonna let these harden and then I will add the final details. So now they're nice and dry. When I touch them, it doesn't come off of my fingers. I'm gonna attempt to decorate them. I know the ears look a little weird. It's very hard to see here. That's why, of course, I have my little reference. The only thing I'm not gonna put is the little lines up here on the face. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. I just used, um, candy melts and then put them in the microwave and I have it in the piping bag. It's only a little warm, but 
Okay, I think I'm gonna do the eyeballs first. So these are the finished donuts, and I kind of think they look like they look like little bunny pusheens almost. So it kind of works <laughs> if it was like Easter. But yeah, they actually turned out pretty cute. I think the face fixed them like a lot. Um, the whiskers are a little close to little to little hands or whatever. But other than that, turned out good. And so yeah, now it's time to taste them. It's a pretty big donut. The donut tastes pretty good. I mean, it's just like a basic vanilla with um with the chocolate on top. And so, yeah, I would definitely make these again if I could, like, have better skills with, like, the ears. And then maybe do, like, a different flavor on the inside. You could always do, like, a filling, too. But either way, it's, like, nice and soft. And it's really good. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content.